Transit. The next step in the storyline of Call of Duty Zombies after the amazing end of Black Ops 1 and our last map, Moon. But let me take you back to exactly how that ended. We blew up the Earth. So, when we come into today's safety check, you can already imagine the Earth's not going to be in a very good state. And that's why we are here today in transit to figure out exactly how safe the Earth is after being blown to pieces. But before we do that, I do want to say that we have a subscriber goal that I am aiming to hit, which is 2k subscribers. The love on the channel lately has been amazing, and I would love to keep this up. And if you do love the content, then make sure to subscribe as it would mean the world to me. But without further ado, welcome to Safety Check. Okay, it kind of looks like I expected it to, I can't lie, and I can't see it getting any better. I'm going to say that now. There are a lot of things to pick up on this map, and they are everywhere. So I am going to point out the issues that are on this map, but at the same time, I'm not going to point out every single feature because it would take me years. I'll give a few examples and an overall score, and that will do me. But if you do want to see me rank each individual area, I will be doing a mini-series ranking each survival map from Green Run, and I will be doing that for my members only. So if you do want to see that, then why not become a member today? Anyway, let's get into our first few hazards, which are low tier hazards. And the first one I'm going to mention is the weather. I mean, look at it. This is crazy weather. Got to get on the bus quickly as well. No, got to get on the bus. Phew. But yeah, the weather's not good. It's thunder, it's lightning, it's miserable, it's not so good. So the weather is going to get a low score and it's going to get a 50 out of 100. Right, so the next one I want to talk about is tripping hazards. Now anything on this map could be a tripping hazard, let's be honest. But we still have things like ropes just left on the floor, tires you could technically trip over as well, and I mean you only have to walk in here to see like car parts just left everywhere, a door on the floor that you could trip over, all this wood, and more tires you could trip over. So yeah, there's a lot you could trip over around here. It's not going to be nearly as bad as weather elements, but it is still going to get a 70 out of 100. Next up though is hygiene. And all we have to do to judge this is go up to the diner and we already have blood on the floor. You go into the kitchen, there's flies everywhere. Everything has just clearly been left out obviously because the world got destroyed, so it's not a surprise. And to make it worse, when we have to use bathrooms like this in the apocalypse, I mean, someone didn't flush after they went. It's not fun. So with this kind of thing, you've got to get hygiene in as a risk and it's going to get a 50 out of 100. The next risk which I want to show you, which is actually in this area as well, is shrapnel. And this is what I mean, plates smashed everywhere, not good. Glass on the floor, everywhere, not good. And there's more plates again, plates everywhere man, plates behind here as well. You'd think that we were at a Greek wedding with the number of plates that have been smashed, but it isn't a good luck either way. So shrapnel is going to get a 60 out of 100. All right, the bus is calling me. Let's get a weapon and let's get out of here. That'll do. Now whilst we're on this bus, we're going to go on to our next risk, which is actually a medium tier risk. Because as you just saw, I was on fire, which means you can easily be set on fire in this map. Which also means that you have a good chance of getting high tier burns. High tier burns are never good. And normally, because it's in the medium category, I would give it a 40 because that's the minimum. But there's just too many opportunities for you to get burns on this map. So it's actually going to get lower than a medium tier risk. And it's instead going to get a 20 out of 100 because it's just that unsafe. Okay, since we have moved on to the farm, I am going to go on to my next risk, which is falling. And there's actually a perfect example of falling here. For example, when you come over to this little section, you can fall off because the barrier's broken. See how that hurt me? That ain't good. There's also other examples, like on the farmhouse balcony, that could hurt me. And there is obviously the massive lava hole at the power station, which is really bad. And because of that, it is going to have to get a rating on this map, which is going to be a 40 out of 100, because it could be lethal. Next up on the list, we have building stability. And this is a perfect example of how stable some of these buildings are. I mean, are we really surprised? The planet did get hit by nukes. And even more, that flower silo there is leaning so much, we might as well call it the Leaning Tower of Pisa for God's sake. And this is our roof. Not great. On top of this, the side of the building is completely broken. And this is just the farm. You could imagine how bad the rest of the map is. So we are going to have to put transit down for building stability issues and it is going to get an overall rating of 40 out of 100. Bus, no, wait for me. 
That was lucky. Bye bye. See you later, sucker. Okay. Whilst we're on the bus again, I'm going to go on to my next safety risk, which is suffocation. I mean, look at how much smoke is in the air. This is not good for your lungs. The chances of you suffocating from the amount of smoke that is in the air is quite high. And for that reason, it's getting a 30 out of 100. And now that we are reaching our next area, I am going to give you our next risk, which you wouldn't think about too much on this map. But some of you might have been smart enough to notice. But when we go to the power area, we have electrocution as a potential risk. Now you might think it's safe down here because of how nice and bright and clean it is, but you can get electrocuted badly because when you turn the power switch on, this whole area becomes super dangerous to us, as you're about to see. Oh God, the bus is leaving and I haven't even got the power on yet. That isn't a good sign. Okay, yes, this is what I meant. Go away. Definitely could be an issue, you see. It hurts. I should get out of it. This, I need to get out of here. It is contained, but you do also have to deal with this guy, the Avogadro. But on top of that, we do have to take into consideration that on the surface, there is an abundance of lightning, which could also be dangerous. And that's why it's going to get a 40 out of 100. Right, let's get out of here. I've just got to jump across here. Oof, I made it. And if anyone is going to question my building stability inclusion, just look at this pylon. I don't think that's meant to be there whatsoever. All right, we have one last medium tier risk to talk about, and it is actually relating to all the vehicles on the map. As you might have noticed, there are plenty of broken cars on the map. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five cars just here, and they are not only just blocking my way, but what happens if one of these explodes whilst I'm running past? And that's without thinking about other areas like the tunnel. Can you remember how many cars are jammed up in there? Yeah. It's definitely something we have to take into consideration and it is going to get you an overall rating of 40 out of 100. So that is all the medium tier risks identified, which moves us onto our miscellaneous tier risks on this map. And the first one I want to mention is actually what's transporting us. Yes, the bus. Now you might be thinking, this thing is keeping me safe right now. Why would I want to put it on the list? Well, have you seen the state that the bus is actually in? It is barely holding together. And that is without thinking that this thing is being driven by a robot that doesn't even have arms. On top of that, you can even go on the roof whilst it's moving, which is really dangerous. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily safe to be on. And because of that, it is going to get a 15 out of 100. Miscellaneous risk number two on this map is of course the lava. If there is one thing that this map isn't short of, it is 100% the amount of lava that is around. I mean, this one is huge. Look at the size of this. And obviously, it's not good for the human body to be touching lava constantly because you will die instantly. And when there is this much lava around, it's just not a good look for the map. So we are going to have to mark it down and it is going to get a really low rating, which is a 5 out of 100. Now this next section, I'm actually going to give it its own category separate from building stability because we have to drive over it. And it is, of course, this bridge that is above a massive lava pit, which we have to drive over on a bus whilst it is crumbling to pieces. So I am going to give it a 10 out of 100 because it could collapse at any time now and kill us instantly. I think it's time to jump out of the bus now and show you the last two miscellaneous safety features. Ouch, that is if I don't burn myself alive. The first one I want to mention is the visibility. Look how little I can see when I'm running through here. It's not good. I am basically blind and that's without these little critters grabbing hold of me. So visibility is definitely going to be a big risk and for that reason, it's going to get a 10 out of 100. And as we just saw whilst I was in that non-visible section, I was getting attacked by the denizens. We are getting chased and clawed at by these denizens every time we go into the fog. I'm getting out of here. They are lethal little creatures which could scratch and potentially blind you. So they are getting a 10 out of 100. Oh, there is one more thing I forgot to mention. There is a high tier risk I forgot to mention here because there's a chance of explosions, not only from the cars which are really close to fire, but I've noticed that there are barrels here that do have some sort of hazard label on. Wait, that can mean that those barrels consist of nasty chemicals, which means there could be a chemical hazard risk, which I nearly missed. I need to put that one in as well. Okay, so we have two extra risks that I've identified here. We have chemical hazards, which is a medium tier risk, which I will rate as a 40 out of 100. Then we also have explosions, which could kill us through various methods, which is getting a score of 20 out of 100. 
And with that, I think we have identified every single hazard that is on this map. That I can think of anyway. Now, there are a shit ton on this map, so I might have missed one or two, but that is definitely the main bolt. And just to recap, we have weather elements with a rating of 50, tripping hazards with a rating of 70, hygiene with a rating of 50, shrapnel with a rating of 60, chemical hazards with a rating of 40, falling with a rating of 40, high grade burns with a rating of 20, vehicles with a rating of 40, building stability with a rating of 40, electrocution with a rating of 40, suffocation with a rating of 30, explosions with a rating of 20, lava with a rating of 5, denizens with a rating of 10, the bus with a rating of 15, visibility with a rating of 10, and the bridge with a rating of 10. Now I would go through safety features, but there isn't exactly a lot of stuff to go off. I mean, we do have these safety signs, but they don't really explain much. They just say death. Obviously, that's not very helpful. So I'm not going to give it the full five points, but I will give it a two and a half for safety signs. With all the safety risks mentioned and put together, Transit actually gets a mean rating of 33 out of 100, which is already quite low. On top of that though, it does get a minus five points for having 10 plus hazards on the map. Furthermore, whilst it does only have one high tier risk, there are five miscellaneous risks, which are categorized as high tier risks because they all score below a rating of 30. So Transit also gets another minus five points for that. But I guess it's not all doom and gloom for the map because it does get a 2.5 for safety signs. So when you add all those scores together, you do get an overall rating of 25 and a half for Transit. This is by far the lowest score we have seen on safety check to this day. And we're not really surprised, let's be honest. But like I said, this is the lowest rating we have seen so far. And in all honesty, I might have even missed some stuff that could have made it worse. But when you look at what that means for the map itself, it means it's in the lowest tier you can get. It's actually our first map in the shut it down category. We need to shut transit down right now. We need to get all the workers out. We need to evacuate the area. Transit needs to be shut down because for transit, it's not only the first of its kind in this category, but it now also has the lowest score. Having said that, Transit does still have a chance of not finishing last because Black Ops 2 is a minefield when it comes to safety, especially when the next map on this series is indeed Die Rise. And of course, if you want to see the Die Rise safety check, then make sure to leave some love on this video by dropping a like. Also, let me know if you think there is going to be a map that is going to get a lower score than Transit in this series. Apart from that, we have to get ready to get out of this area before we end up dead. So I will leave you all for today. And hopefully, we end up in a safer spot for the next video. But until then, stay safe.